Well, hey there, good looking. Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. I'm Jacob Lettman. We got a great video in store for you today, so stick around until the very end because you never know what's going to happen with our adventures here on the Rideshare Hub. All right, hey, welcome back. Like I said, uh, before we get started, I want to help save you some money on your fuel fill ups by getting the Get Upside app. All you got to do is go into our video description below. There's a link there for the Get Upside app. You're going to click that. Download it on your phone, use our sign up code, save money on your fuel fill ups as long as you have that app. Okay, great. Let's get right to it, you guys. So, today, what I want to talk with you about is why I, Jacob Letman, the coolest cat that you ever did meet, it's not necessarily true, but why I didn't pass the Uber sign up process. What? Why? I'm still dumbfounded, believe me. Uh, no, here's the situation. So, uh, three years ago, little Letman, younger, less beard, probably less cool, definitely less wise, and uh, fewer gray hairs. That was me. I was getting signed up for Uber and Lyft, getting ready to make my millions. Uh, anyway... Here's what you got to do for the sign-up part, right? For the sign-up process for both Uber and Lyft. So, first of all, if you don't know this, you need to have a referral code so you can get a bonus to start driving for Uber and Lyft. So that's what you want to start with. And if you need to do that, we have some in the drivers in the video description below. You can click there. Both Uber and Lyft, we have sign-up bonus codes. So that's step one. You need those because why would you even start driving if you didn't use those? You'd just be throwing money away or lighting it on fire and blowing it off into the sunset and that would be a waste. So get those, right? So you get those codes. You download the apps, the driver apps. Put those codes in. Put in your personal information. That gets the sign-up process kicked off. You're going. You're rolling, right? Full steam ahead. You're ready to go. What next? Oh, shoot. You need a vehicle. You need an eligible vehicle. I had a 2000 Chevy Malibu at the time named Gertrude. Old lady, but I loved her. I loved that old grandma car. Anyway, uh, she wasn't good enough, so I had to upgrade to the Mazda 3 that I'm sitting in now. Had to get a 2015, well, I didn't have to, but I got a 2015 Mazda 3 to drive rideshare with. If you need help, trying to figure out what vehicle to get. We have a lot of videos on that, so check those out. Uh, but you need an eligible vehicle to be able to drive rideshare, so check. You got that, good. You need to have insurance for your state that you drive in, and you need to upload that information. You got that, cool, you're doing good. Uh, what else do you need? Oh, you need a valid driver's license for the state that you drive in. Aha, great, well, you know what? This was my hang-up. This is where I got hung up with Uber, not Lyft. Lyft was like, yeah, cool, you got your driver's license, state of California, you look good, you're smiling, it all looks good, you're good to go, bro. Uh, actually, so Uber, however, I had my driver's license, I submitted that, and uh, they go through a third party, right? So I submitted that, sent it off to them. And they came back at me with a, your driver's license was not accepted. I was like, say what, fool? This thing is legit. It is rock solid. It is real. Issued from the state of California. Uh, they said, well, you recently got this new driver's license, so we need to see proof of your driving history. To which I said, ain't no thing. I got lots of it. Let me show you. So... Uh, theoretically, all I was supposed to do was send in my old driver's license, which was from Wyoming. That's where I grew up. And uh, because I believe the that you need to have two plus years of driving history. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what the stipulation is. So I sent that in and I didn't hear anything. Week went by. So I was like, okay, what the heck? So I tried to resend it, no correspondence. So at this this point, I'm getting frustrated, right, Uber? So I'm like, okay, no big deal. I'll just give a customer service a call. We'll figure this out. 
There was no number to call for Uber. Nowhere. Could not find a number to phone, give him a phone call anywhere at all. Which was another cool thing that Lyft had. Lyft was, was good at that with customer service. They had a number you could call, hotline, you'd be able to talk to them. Sense gone, by the way. Lyft doesn't have that anymore. Good luck trying to get in touch with them. I've been trying to get in touch with them for two weeks about some some questions I have about my earnings. And guess what? Ain't nobody giving me a call back. It's all email. So I digress. Uh, trying to get in touch with Uber, right? So I send them an email. I get this correspondence back from Uber saying, we go through a third party. We'll try and contact them and see if we can figure this out. A month went by, and I tried to send my information in three times. Nothing. Nothing doing. Are you kidding me? I was so peeved, so turned off by the whole situation. By the way, uh, it took me a week to get signed up with Lyft. So I was like, well, forget you, Uber. I'm out. I am out. It should not be this hard. And it probably isn't. Don't let that turn you off from driving for them. Uh, It was just my personal situation, and I was not impressed with the way that it it wasn't even handled. And uh, now I've given, you know, over 2,000 rides for Lyft, so say on that, Uber. Um, Anyway, that was just kind of the situation. But let's get back to all the things you need to do to sign up for rideshare driving, right? So once they accept uh, those documents your insurance, your driver's license. You need to go in for a vehicle inspection. And actually, I failed my first vehicle inspection. What? True story, true story. I went in and uh, I think that was actually for Uber too. Man, I'm really telling you, the the gods of Uber did not want me to drive. Uh, So I go, right, the car's like brand new. It's a 2015 and it was 2016 and Uh, looked great, everything. The guy couldn't get my back passenger, my rear passenger seatbelt to work, which I hadn't had anyone sit back there because the car was only like two weeks old. I had no idea. My freaking seatbelt was all jammed up. So it wasn't broken. I just had to do some mechanic work on it, get in there. was able to get it unjammed, but uh, I failed my first inspection too. So You got your car, you got your documents, you got your personal information, you got your sign-up bonus code in there, you go, you get your vehicle inspected, it's an eligible vehicle, it passes inspection, you get your stickers, you put those in, you, my friend, are then set to be a rideshare driver for Uber or Lyft. So that's a little bit about the sign-up process. That is also why I don't drive for Uber, however... I will probably start driving for Uber because there are some things with Lyft that have just really turned me a little bit sour lately. But anyway, that's a different story. It's my stuff. It's not a big deal. You guys are awesome. If you have any more insider information on the sign-up process, get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and feedback. You guys are awesome for being here. And again, if you need to get the Get Upside app to save on your, your gasoline fill-ups, or if you need sign-up bonuses to start driving for Uber or Lyft, those are in the video description below. I'll check you guys next time. Until then, drive safe, everybody.